For the past 61 years, government schools have not changed. If a setup includes a teacher, a toilet, blackboard and a classroom, it is termed a school. The whole purpose of a school is to produce a thinking individual and to help a child discover his or her talents and then nurture them. Sindhagi Trust and Book Group adopted SMB Fatima Jinnah School in Garden West, Karachi in May 2007. This school was considered one of the city's best. Let us take a look at what this best looked like. It was common practice for school grounds to be used as marriage lawns later in the day. Hence the grounds were often littered with used napkins and food remains from the night before. It was no surprise that all this garbage tended to attract many scavengers like crows, cats and dogs, all of which were a serious health hazard for the students of the school. Before adoption, SMB Government School had 15 resident dogs who roamed unchecked inside the school building. The situation was so appalling that a decaying dog body was found inside the kindergarten classroom when Zindagi Trust and Book Group went for its initial inspection. Classrooms were dirty and had blackboards that were just too small to chalk out the day's lesson. The corridors were dark and dirty, a truly depressing environment for young children. In addition, there were grills everywhere that gave the impression of a juvenile prison. Hygiene levels were shocking, with no clean drinking water and a hole in the ground for a toilet. Neighboring apartments emptied all their household trash into the school premises and broken sewage lines resulted in pools of stagnant sewage water, all of which were ideal breeding grounds for malaria, cholera, typhoid, dengue and many other diseases. There was a lot of wasted space. Huge rooms served as bat caves and were garbage dumps for concrete ruins, broken furniture and even exposed live wires. Sindhagi Trust and Book Group employed a two-pronged strategy to completely turn around the school civil works and academic changes. The objective was to set a standard that would become the norm for all government schools. A school would have to have the following facilities to be recognized as a school by the government. Wedding parties on school grounds were completely banned. Part of the ground has been paved to make a parking lot and the rest has been converted into a running track and a sports ground. A reception area has been constructed with an emphasis on aesthetic appeal. Photocopy machines, computers and filing cabinets have been installed to ensure smooth administrative function as well as the preservation of student records. The corridors have been tiled and lights have been installed to provide a cheery and clean school environment. The grills have been removed and 24-hour security guards are placed at the school gates to ensure the safety of the students. Stray animals have been removed from the school premises and class conditions have been drastically improved. They have been cleaned out and blackboards have been made wall to wall. Sewage lines have been installed and littering from neighboring residences has been stopped. In addition, a proper health room has been constructed where all students go for regular checkups. If need be, they are referred to hospitals. Proper water filters have been installed to provide clean drinking water. Bathrooms have been completely renovated. They are maintained in a clean and hygienic condition by janitorial staff that is present for the entire duration of school hours. A properly equipped computer laboratory was constructed. Electricity problems in the city were also taken into consideration by installing a generator that can support the entire school. In this way, the computer classes are never cancelled. An outstanding art room has been constructed where the children are free to explore their imaginations and express themselves in any way they please. Lessons range from observational drawing and handicrafts to pottery classes. A state-of-the-art library has also been constructed with books on a diverse range of subjects. A qualified librarian documents the collection and ensures quality on the shelves. Most educationists fail to realize that the formative years of a child's development are from the kindergarten till the third grade. Accordingly, the team at Zindagi Trust and Book Group has paid careful attention to the teaching methods in the earlier grades. The teachers are being trained in latest teaching techniques such as phonics. They are also being made to realize the very harmful effects of corporal punishment. Zindagi Trust has not taken a single rupee from the government and has raised 25 million to renovate this school. Every month the Trust puts in 8 lakh rupees to give quality education to these 3600 girls completely free of cost. We request you to please come forward and donate so we can sustain this school as well as reform more government schools.